Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington from gmustudent.com and today we're going to learn how to make internal and external links in our web page. An internal link basically links you from one web page to another web page in your website and an external link links you outside of your entire web page. So that would be like having a link to google.com. In order to do this, all you need is your site defined. If you do not know how to define a site, go to my site configuration video and it will show you exactly how to do that. So let's open up Dreamweaver. And you will see I have my site defined. I have it called First Site. I have my default images folder. And let's make a couple web pages. So, in order to make a web page inside of your site, right click that site, go to New File, and let's type in Index and click Enter. And then right click and let's make one more page, New File, and let's call it About underscore Us and click Enter. So, let's open up the Index page and let's open up the About Us page. So, now we have two web pages from our site. Now let's link between those two web pages. So in order to do this, let's basically make our own kind of little toolbar. So in the index page, let's type in this is the index page and click enter and then type in link to about us page. And then the about us page, let's type in this is the about us page link to index page. So in the index page, let's learn how to make our link. In order to make a link to the About Us page, highlight the text About Us. And down here in your Properties panel under HTML, you're going to see this thing that says Link. If you want to link to the index page, there are a couple different ways you can do it. The first way you can do it is you can click inside of here and type in About underscore Us dot HTML and click Enter. And as you will see, it immediately became an About Us page. I'm going to hit Command and Control Z. I'm going to show you all the different ways you can do this. Another way is you could take this little marquee tool called Point to File, and with that About Us highlighted, click it, drag it to About Us, and let go. And now you have just made a link to the About Us page. Command and Control V. And I will show you the last way to do it. You can browse for that file. You can click Browse for File. And you go to index. I mean about us.html, sorry about that, and click choose. And all those things will make a link to the about us page. Don't believe me, I'll show you right now. So let's hit Command or Control S to save this, Command or Control S to save this, and let's preview this index page in a web browser. In order to do that, click this little earth right here, click preview in Safari, and when we click link to about us page, we go to the this is the about us page. So let's link back to that index page by using the same thing that we just did. So let's go to about us, highlight index page, and go to link right here and do whichever way you want to do. I'm going to type it in and do index.html and click enter and let's see if it worked. Hit command or control S to save the file and then preview it in whichever browser you choose and when we go to the index page we go to this is the index page, we click the about us page and we go to the about us page. Now the last thing we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to learn how to link to an external link, an external web page outside of our site. In order to do that let's go to our index file and let's click enter twice and let's type in link to Google. And in order to make that link to Google, we do the same thing. Let's highlight. Let's go down to our link down here and type in HTTP colon backslash backslash www.google.com and click enter. And now you have made a link to Google. Let's try it out by hitting command or control S to save, preview it in Safari. And when we click link to Google, we immediately go to google.com. It's as easy as that. So today we learned how to make internal and external links in our website, and um, that's pretty much it. So you can use just this HTML properties panel down here, and it will control all the links that you need to do. So this has been Christopher Carrington with gmustudent.com, and thank you for watching.